Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Story Time with Diane Coke. Today's story is Disney 101 Dalmatians Thunderbolt Patch. Every evening, Pongo, Perdita, and their 15 Dalmatian puppies gathered around the television to watch the hero the heroic adventures of Thunderbolt the dog. The puppies would stare wide-eyed as Thunderbolt saved the day from all sorts of thieves and villains. Patch wanted to be just like Thunderbolt. After the show ended, it would be time for the puppies to go to sleep so Pongo and Perdita could go on a walk with their humans. Come along, children, said Pongo one evening. I'm hungry, mother, whined Raleigh, the pudgy pup. Can't we stay up a bit longer, pleaded Patch. It's time for sleep now, my dears, Perdita replied. All the puppies settled into bed except for Patch. Patch didn't want to go to sleep. He wanted to go on an adventure like Thunderbolt. He wanted to save the day from all sorts of thieves and villains. And when the puppy heard a strange scurrying sound nearby, Patch knew he had his chance. Look, whispered Patch, pointing at a mouse. It's a big bad bandit. We've got to catch him. The puppy scampered out of bed and snuck upstairs after the fearsome outlaw. Follow me, whispered Patch, pretending to be Thunderbolt. That nasty scoundrel is headed toward the music room. Where could he be hiding? Pepper wondered. Let me know if you find any food, said Raleigh, as he nosed a nearby wastebasket. There, Lucky yelped, behind the bin. He's heading for the door. Before the puppies could catch the bandit, they heard someone coming up the stairs. It was Nanny. If she caught the pups out of bed, they would be in big trouble. Hide, whispered Patch. Each pup hid in the perfect spot, hoping Nanny wouldn't suspect they were on a nighttime adventure. Now, what's all this noise? asked Nanny, looking about the music room. As the pups held their breath, Patch spied the scoundrel slipping back downstairs. Fortunately, Nanny didn't spot a single Dalmatian pup or the bandit. When the coast was clear, the puppies resumed their chase throughout the house. They traveled down the steps, into the living room, and eventually outside. The thief is escaping, shouted Patch. After him! Catching culprits makes me hungry, Raleigh whined. Fortunately, the back door was ajar and the pups could easily slip out and continue the chase. He's headed toward the courtyard, said Patch. We can't lose him, men. While the puppies searched for the scoundrel, Raleigh decided to search for a snack. He found a berry bush. But when one of the berries slipped under the gate, the chubby pup spotted something foul. Cruella de Vil, he gasped. She's coming this way. Quietly now, whispered Thunderbolt Patch, as he and the puppies followed the bandit back into the house. That sly burger, that sly burglar must be in here somewhere, said Patch as they searched the entire kitchen. There he is, shouted Raleigh, when he spotted the mouse getting away. And he has cheese, yum! Raleigh darted toward the bandit, but they both suddenly disappeared in a cloud of white. That pup doesn't have any spots, said Patch, looking at Raleigh. He must be the real intruder. The puppies all pounced on Raleigh, but soon Penny spotted Pongo and Perdita outside. 
Mother and father are coming, she shouted. Everyone back to bed. Come along, chaps, shouted the leader of the pack. Thunderbolt Patch will save the day. When Pongo and Perdita returned from their walk, they peeked in on their precious puppies and found them curled up in bed just as they had left them. The end.